We have a refrigerant 134A is working fluid in a multi-stage vapor compression refrigeration cycle having that flash chamber. Right here, that flash chamber. The evaporator pressure, or no, temperature is negative 25 degrees C. So this temperature down here is negative 25 degrees C. And a saturated liquid <laughs> exits the condenser at 1100. So the pressure up here is 1100 kPa. It comes out saturated liquid. And then it passes through the first expansion valve and drops to 400 kPa. Yeah, that's the pressure at 6, right? Saturated vapor leaves the flash chamber and is mixed with the refrigerant between. So this is saturated vapor at 9. And then saturated liquid continues. It mixes in the mixing chamber. Rate of heat transfer, Q dot, in the evaporator is 15 refrigerant tons, or tons of refrigeration. You multiply that by a unit conversion factor that each ton of refrigeration is 211 kilojoules per minute. And you can convert that into kilowatts. Um, it's 52.75 kilowatts. That's Q dot. Let's do this. Um, it didn't say it's explicitly saturated vapor coming out, but it, if it doesn't, it's a typical assumption. Saturated vapor coming out of that evaporator, going through the compressor. Um, the efficiencies, did they give efficiencies for these? No, but we'll assume that the efficiency is 100% and the efficiency is 100% isentropic efficiency. You're asked to calculate for part A, what is the refrigerant mass transfer rate through the evaporator? That's the M dot right through here, true? Through that evaporator. You can give it whatever symbol you like, M dot E for going through the evaporator. That's equal to the rate of cooling in the evaporator divided by the enthalpy change, H1 minus H8. How do we get that equation? Conservation of energy around that evaporator. How about the power into each compressor? W dot into compressor 1. That'll be the mass flow rate going through the evaporator because that's the same mass flow rate that goes through the, uh, the, the compressor, true? That will be times H2 minus H1. So we need to get those enthalpies. We'll, re the recommended strategy is get a table, all your states and all your enthalpies. Then you can calculate co properties of interest. How about W dot C2? That's this one up here. Is it the mass flow rate that goes through compressor 2 times the enthalpy at 4 minus enthalpy at 3? Sure. Now, we calculated how much goes through the evaporator. True. But do we know how much goes through the, the second com compressor? A little bit of work. Um, the mass flow rate that goes to the evaporator is 1 minus the quality times the mass flow rate that came into the expansion valve through the high temperature condenser and through the second compressor. Is that true? So 1 minus x times, that's x6, the quality at state 6. 1 minus x6 is equal to 1 minus x6 times m dot through the second compressor is equal to mass flow rate that goes into the evaporator so that you can calculate the mass flow rate that goes to that second compressor's mass flow rate through the evaporator 1 minus the quality at state 6 in that flashing chamber so that's how you would then be able to solve for part b and then what about the coefficient of performance for that refrigeration system well it's what we desire, a lot of cooling, and it's uh, 15 tons of cooling divided by we have to work, provide power to those compressors. I, I think these are all doable, true? You can do these. Um, but you do have to go through the problem yourself. So here's the solution to this problem in Excel. Again, the recommended strategy is go ahead and list states. There's nine of them all the way to nine. Temp pressures and temperatures need the enthalpy. Sometimes the entropy is needed for reversible compression. Reversible compression. Uh, quality makes sense at state 7, true. 
state seven or state six? Oops, state six I meant to mark. State six, it's 28% quality, 28.1%. And then after it flashes in the second, you have the quality at state eight is around 20%, meaning about 80% of it's ready to evaporate in the evaporator and provide the pooling. Oh, messed up the math. 71.9, thank you. So let's continue to look at this data. Uh, once you kind of march through getting these states, maybe the hardest one was that enthalpy at state three. How do we get that enthalpy at state three? H three is equal to H two times one minus X plus H nine times X. What is H9? It's saturated vapor. Well, um, you find the mass flow rate going down through the first compressor this way. That's uh, 0 0.308. Uh, the mass flow rate going through the second compressor, it's larger, it's greater, it's 0.428. You calculate the two powers, sum them up, and you get a coefficient of performance for the refrigeration system of about 3.